In this video, we're going to take a look at named routes for your Flutter application. So my son and I are currently working on a role-playing game based in space. We almost have the back end ready for our trial run, so we're ready to start working on the client. And of course, we're going to do that in Flutter. The logical place to start seems to be setting up some preliminary screens, so we'll go ahead and start with navigation. I have a video that I recorded a while back that goes through the various options for navigation that Flutter comes with. I'll link that in the description below. But for this project, I've opted to use named routes. So we're just going to set up three screens for now. We're going to set up the home page, the login screen, and the sign up screen. So we'll go ahead and set up our home screen now. I'll go ahead and import material. Now we will set up main. And then do a run app. And then inside run app, we will do material app. And we'll set the home to home screen. It's going to give us an error until we set it up. So we're going to do an STLESS for a stateless widget. And I'll type home screen in here. And then everything will be working. And if we run that, we're just going to have a black screen at the moment. Do a scaffold here. with a body that is a column. And then inside of the column, we will just do an elevated button. On pressed will be blank at the moment. And the child can just say, Log in. Now I think we have to remove this const. Put this one in. So now if we look, the button's up there. We can fix that real quick as well. So we can first wrap this in a center. And then for the column, we will do a main axis alignment that is center. And that should put the buttons in the center for us. We'll do one more elevated button. And we will call this one uh, Sign up. That's all we're going to do on that page. Now we're going to go ahead and create our login page down here. We'll do another stateless widget. We'll call this login screen. We'll go ahead and create our other one. On this page, we'll also do a scaffold. But for the body, we'll just do something like a center. Let's do that for now. We'll do the same down here. Just gonna copy this whole section here. And we'll say sign up screen here. So now that we have our three screens, we can add navigation. We'll go up here to material app and we're going to add a title.
I'll change that later. We're going to need an initial route. We'll just make that the home screen. And then we'll set up some routes. Remove this const up here. We'll add one for the login screen. We'll just call it login. And one for the sign up screen. So hopefully if we restart this, everything is still working correctly. It appears to be. But now down here in the on pressed for the login, we can do a push named here. With the context and we're just going to say login. Go ahead and copy that and paste it down here. For the sign up. And if everything worked correctly, I should be able to click the login and it goes to the login page. If we restart it, we see the sign up page works as well. Now, if we go down here to the login screen and in the scaffold, we add an app bar. It's going to need a title. I think it's looking for a text here. And then we'll take that. Well, actually, let's test it first. You'll see we have this right here, and now we can go back. So let's copy that down to our sign up. Works with our sign up too now. If you don't want this right here, what you can do is right here in the app bar, you can do a automatically imply leading. False. And now it's gone. So what we can do now is down here, we will add a column. We'll add an elevated button right here. Won't go anywhere at the moment. And we'll just say return to home. And then in here we could do navigator pop. So now we can return with that. You can also, instead of using this right here, you could, I should put it back. Yep. 
you could use in the home folder instead of a push named you could do a push replacement named so now when you press sign up you don't have the arrow and if you try to go back though now it doesn't go back to anything So now that we've done all that, we're going to go ahead and move these to a screened folder. I'm going to do a new folder and I'm going to call it screens. I'm going to call one a login screen. And then call the other sign up screen. Now I'm going to take the login screen code, put it in here. Do have to do material still. Then I'll do the sign up screen as well. And then over here now, I will have to import those. That fixes all of our errors. I'll go ahead and restart. And hopefully everything still works correctly. This is still going to fail, but that's where we left it. So that gives you a general idea of how to use named routes and we'll keep moving forward in the next video. Thanks for watching.